Mail Munch versus SendGrid. Now this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these email marketing tools, including what they are, any differences, the pricing, and overall, which of these tools is likely better for your business. So if you are interested in potentially picking up one of these email marketing softwares, then keep watching as this video should be able to help you come to a good decision. So jumping right into this, the first thing that I want to discuss is the pricing. Now, both of these email marketing tools are so, so cheap like two of the cheapest email marketing tools that is out there. Now, they both do have free trials. So if we go over here, you can see uh, the free trial on Melmunch right here is that you can get 1000 contacts, unlimited campaigns. So you can send as many emails as you like to that list. And with SendGrid, it's not quite as good. You can send out 100 emails a day. Um, so it's a little bit more limited. So, in terms of the free trial, Melmunch is definitely winning. Now, when it comes to the actual pricing, SendGrid is priced so stupid. I would say about 20% of email marketing softwares price it like this, and I honestly don't know why. The vast majority, like Melmunch, price it in the correct way. So what you would do is you would say how many subscribers you have, enter that in, and it tells you how much it would cost you, and then you can send as many emails as you like to that list. Makes sense. However, with SendGrid, they charge you on how many emails you want to send per month. So you have to sit there at the start of the month, figure out how many people you have on your list, figure out if you expect the list to grow, figure out how many times you want to send an email to that list every single month. I hate it. I think it's so stupid and I don't understand why any email marketing software price it like this. Anyway, rant over. Uh, so if we jump right into this, we can basically see. On SendGrid, at the top of this, you can send 100,000 emails a month for $35. Now with Mailmunch, can we go any higher here? 6,000. Okay, so 5,000 is what you would need to be sending. So for the same price, you can either send 100,000 emails or get 5,000 contacts on your list. Now, of course, this is a no brainer. SendGrid is way cheaper. However, keep in mind that this goes up pretty quickly uh, as soon as you get over this 100,000 emails because then you need to go to the pro plan. Now on the high end of this you can send 200,000 emails for $90 and on Mailmunch I think you can send 25,000 contacts for $95. Can we go any higher or is this, is this the maximum? Okay yeah. Uh, so 25,000 emails is $95 or you can send 200,000 emails. So now this is quickly being rebalanced and you realize Mailmunch is actually going to work out better for most people because if you go here, you can literally send out 10 emails, not even 10 emails to a list this size before you hit your 200,000 email limit. So that is what I will say. SendGrid starts out cheaper, but very quickly uh, Mailmunch comes back in and overtakes that limit. And Millmunch actually does work out cheaper when you have a bigger list. So I thought that this was a, a fair balance and I was just going to go in here and compare these tools. However, if we go over to Captera, you can see this is Millmunch right here. So Millmunch does not have the most reviews. It has 11 reviews on Captera. Uh, however, look at the reviews, very high. And it just looks like they're not asking for many reviews on Captera because they are still a pretty decent company, decent sized, I should say with over 50,000 businesses using Mailmunch. With SendGrid, uh, I went to do the same thing. SendGrid on Captera. And by the way, if, if I just show you this, uh, the, the cons on Mailmunch, there's basically nothing. I can't think of anything I don't like about Mailmunch. I had trouble interpreting it with the older sales team, so that's a little bit annoying. However, when I searched for SendGrid, you can see much bigger company, uh, likelihood to recommend is only 68% and 4.2 stars. However, I looked at the cons and I noticed the customer support is the worst I, I have ever experienced and it took us a while to realize how bad delivery issues had gotten and basically I went down here and what a lot of people seem to be saying is that it's very hard to cancel your account. So I did some more digging and I went to Trustpilot and it looks like the same thing is happening. If we go on Trustpilot you can see uh, this is pretty bad. 1.2 stars out of 5 and only 17 are 5 star reviews, 76% 1 star and all of these people are saying either their account was disabled or 
They tried to cancel their account and it's so hard. They overcharged me intentionally and were unresponsive when I queried. They switched off my account with no indication. Switched off and suspended my email. After you've paid your account gets suspended for no reason. But this is basically what everybody is saying. That they make an account, they pay for it and then it's suspended for no reason. So this really, really puts me off SendGrid, and for this reason, I would really recommend going with MailMunch. MailMunch Mil is awesome. Uh, I haven't heard anybody complaining about getting their account shut down, so that is a huge plus for MailMunch. And basically, I, I wouldn't risk going with SendGrid because of what people are saying about this. So, that is MailMunch versus SendGrid. Now, if you learned something from this video, or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.